both of oh my god I've got no time to waste. As you can see, today we're gonna go straight into the five star cake. Do let me know if you know what gravity cakes are, but either way, I'm about to show you and blow your mind. So this was the very first photo I've ever seen of a gravity cake. It was basically candy falling into a cake, which made me, first of all, how do you physically build this? But also, I wanna see more of this. This is basically as simple as it gets. This is about to get a lot crazier, so. Jesus. Oreos literally dripping into a cake and also the actual cake regardless of being gravity It's like beautiful. By the way, I think you say anti-gravity cake not gravity cake because any cake is a gravity cake Wow, we love a scientist. Okay, so are you joking? I was so tempted to include this one in this video to order a ramen noodle gravity cake just because are you kidding me? Like the chopsticks are floating. Like that's what I'm gonna get for my birthday. Let me know if you want me to film that. So this one, that's genius. Who's coming up with this? Sprinkles, but the sprinkles are being added to your cake as you're cutting into it. Like this makes me so happy. Like I, I have no words. Like these are my favorite cakes I've ever seen. That's when we're starting to get to my actual favorite ones. Like, that actually looks real. Like, the actual paper bag of Frosties, which I'm assuming is not edible. I mean, anything is edible if you want to, but not recommended. That looks like an actual bowl. Like, that's hard to believe. And the milk looks so real. How do they do that? So, so when I saw this image, I was starting to think, I think this is kind of what I want to order. So I'm about to show you the actual cakes that I ordered from a one star and a five star bakery. So the first gravity cake that I ordered was <laughs> a bowl of cereal with a spoon floating in the air. Like a ghost is eating the cereal. Like when I saw this spoon floating, I was like, there is no way this, this is the one. Also the milk like sort of splashing everywhere. But then I also found another cake that I really wanted, which is this one. <laughs> which is they actually use the real can of coke and it's pouring into the cake and then the cake says coca-cola on it so i kind of wanted basically to blend these two designs the spoon with the milk and also a real can of coke pouring coke into a cake but i'm really curious about this because these cakes physically they're like defying gravity how is a one star bakery gonna do this i've got no idea <laughs> let's just let's do it. I am ready to defy gravity. So this time around we actually wrapped the cake So the five star cake is fully wrapped so I can look at it right now and not see anything I think the price for the five star cake okay, I'm looking at it. I think the price of this was around a hundred and seventy pounds Considering that most people would order this for like a casual event, maybe like a small birthday party It wasn't the cheapest. I'm not gonna lie. So this is the five star cake. Should we just unbox it? Oh, let me try to figure out how to unbox this. We love watching unboxing videos. The only unboxings I watch is if it's something that I can eat after. So I can see, I haven't seen the actual cake, but <laughs> I, I need to show you this because this is really funny. The first thing I saw was a floating can of Coke. And also, I don't know if you can see it, there's a spoon here. <laughs> I'm just gonna rip the whole throne. <laughs> I love how the only thing we see. Oh my God, that looks real. Did they use an actual can? They did. Oh, oh my God. This looks insane. Holy guacamole. That literally looks like it's in slow motion. It looks like you're watching something in movement and it just, it, like you freeze the, on the specific frame. I don't know if this makes any sense. Let me, this side specifically, the cereal side, the detail of the milk, it's like made of like hard candy, the actual milk. That's why it looks so shiny and real. Like I actually need to give you guys a close up because this is just one of those cakes that it's like, there's so many details. The more I look at it, I need to show you the detail. They made this look exactly like, like liquid. It looks like actual Coca-Cola being dripped on the cake. Like. The way it falls into the cake is just, oh my god. Doesn't this actually look like I'm actually <laughs> pouring like something? I also can't wait to cut into this because, is this edible? It's like rock hard, it's like candy. 
the only thing, and I cannot believe I'm even saying this, but the only thing that kind of disappoints me is that in the image that I sent, they used a lot of colorful cereal. And this one is like basically shades of like brown. I mean, I am colorblind, but like this is mostly like brown. It doesn't have as much impact on this side because of that. But then they went and did this insane detail that is like, it's like made in like hard candy. If you notice, there's like little drops of milk, like everywhere, which is so freaking cool. This is like marshmallow. I think we're only gonna find out once we try it. I'm pretty sure this is edible. Now for the other side, for the Coca-Cola side, um, I'm not gonna lie, this part here with the logo is not my favorite because it's basically just printed and then cut around it. And you guys know, like, in these realistic cakes, I always get disappointed with this. I would have preferred if this whole thing was like made in fondant. The way they blended it, it's like, it's the best possible way they could have done this. So overall, like, I am very impressed. I honestly think we haven't had like a five star cake this impressive. I wish I'd gone to this bakery for the realistic cake. Like, I don't know if you guys remember that video when we ordered um, realistic cakes. I think they would have nailed this challenge. For around $200, I mean, this is a lot of work. Like, I honestly think it's pretty fair. But this side, the cereal side, looks so good. That makes this one look slightly disappointing. This side is a lot more low-key, like the gravity cake for the, for the young professional. But I do like the color of it. I think this red looks a lot like better, more expensive than the bright red that I even sent to them. They're basically one of the best five-star bakeries in London, so I fully understand why they didn't want to make anything too trashy. Are you kidding me? We've got a floating spoon. I mean, <laughs> this is like the happiest day of my life. I think the one-star cake costs around 75 pounds, which is almost $100 cheaper than this one. Okay, so this is the one-star gravity cake of the cereal and coke. I'm not seeing it yet. Salem does not <laughs> seem impressed by it. Okay, I need to close my eyes, otherwise I'm gonna see what it looks like because it's like see-through on this side, I think. This is very light. It's also very stable. <laughs> Please be good. This is two cakes. Did we, did we get two cakes for the price of one? I am so confused. Because I specifically asked them to find a way to blend the two cakes. I mean... That smells like trash. It smells like old plastic and like banana peels. I mean, it still looks pretty good. Like, I always have a hard time. Like, is this better than the other one? I don't know. This is a giant bowl of cereal, like, what? I don't know if I'm happy or disappointed that this is, like, two separate cakes. I guess I was kind of looking forward to seeing how they're gonna blend the two styles. I really like the way they did the base with all the spilled, like, milk and everything. And honestly, this is really well done. And this looks cool as well. This looks like when you go to the movies in America. Like, they give you a soda this size, I swear. I think I like it differently. The other one felt like a grown-up version of this. This one feels like a kid's birthday party, like the colors. I don't love this side of the cake. I think this is like, I don't know. While I like the idea, I feel like it looks like it's melting, like it's falling apart. And like, the detail on this is not my favorite. Like, the other one looks like it's moving. I hope this makes any sense. The other one looks like a shot of like moving soda. This one looks like a, a 3D cake. I don't know, it's not as dramatic, but I do like the bowl. Like the way they've done the bowl is really cool. I like the colors of it. And this is like priceless. It just gives like another look to this. It looks like more expensive than what I actually paid for this. Now, it's not perfect. I can see, I think a lot of the reviews that this place got was because of little details like this, that people got really disappointed and <laughs> left them one star. Um, obviously to me, this is not like the end of the world and I don't think we paid a lot of money for them <laughs> to put that much effort. Like if it was me, I'd be like, this is as good as it gets. So this is the way they've done the milk effect. I think it's really good. It's actually very similar to the other one. Now the splashes on the bottom, they didn't do them. So that's why this one doesn't look like it's moving. 
like the other one. I feel like this is a very divisive one. Like a lot of people are gonna prefer this one because it's like more fun and like vibrant while not as polished. So as usual, we're about to cut into both cakes and actually judge them on the inside and how they're made. But I do have to say that for me, and this is obviously just my opinion, I think I like the five star better. I just, honestly, the splashes on here just makes this look so incredible. I've never seen this type of structure on these 3D cakes. And just the dripping on this one, I mean, we're talking about Instagram versus reality. <laughs> what is it made of? Oh my God, we can actually cut into it. I don't know what this is. <gasps> it's, it's dark chocolate? What? How do they make this out of dark chocolate? Like that doesn't even look like dark chocolate. I'm so confused. But anyways, um, it's gonna stick in the center. Oh my God, I, I need to do this. How do they? Oh my God, this is the biggest slice ever. Okay, let's cut a smaller slice. But honestly, I would be so happy if this was, if this was two different flavors. Oh my God. I can't get the slice out. Oh, I think there's a bit of cardboard in the bottom. Oh my god, what's going on? Oh, that is a nice slice and I feel like we haven't had this... It smells like glue. It smells like... It smells like school glue, like white glue. I'm so confused. Maybe that's what the milk is made of. So this was the part that I was really... I don't know how they made this. This is like, it's like candy. It tastes like strawberry. Oh, it smells so much like glue. I think they used glue in the bottom for the, for the base, for the cardboard base. But the whole cake smells of glue now. <laughs> like I literally don't even smell cake. I'm excited. Both of, oh my God. <gasps> There's a bit of, Oh my God, they found my videos and they're trying to kill me. They actually tried to kill me. I'm honestly thinking this could be poisonous. That's probably why it smells like glue. I'd expect that from the one star places, not the five star. I'm so scared I'm actually gonna be stabbed as I bite into these cakes because that piece of wood, I was just looking at it, that wasn't attached to anything. There isn't sticks throughout the cake. There's just a big long one, but those are like really small pieces of wood, really sharp. like. Conspiracy theory. <laughs> I mean that is more fountain than a human should eat in like one slice It smells like fruit loops or something like it smells so fruity and so far the one star place didn't try to kill me So a winning. Oh my god. That is a lot of cake Oops, sorry, sorry about that uh. Oops, you actually cannot cut into this cake like it doesn't matter, it's just, it's so thin that it just, it's the tiniest little amount of cake. Okay, that's better, I think. Um, <laughs> that's as good as it's gonna get. Oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> oh shoot, I didn't get an Instagram photo. <sighs> and hopefully that's it for death threats for today. I say this, but then I'm gonna read the comment section. <laughs> I wish I was lying. It is five star rating on Google. It's probably a probably one star on health and safety uh, Okay, so let's give it a try. I think they're different cakes. I don't know. It's really difficult to tell um, So this is the coca-cola side. Please be flavored like coca-cola It smells like glue I can't even tell what flavor this is. It tastes like glue and birthday cake at the same time. It's really confusing. I can't tell what flavor this is. It's definitely not the classic Victoria sponge. What's with the glue flavor? <laughs> they honestly taste like glue and vanilla. It's good. <laughs> I like it. I would eat the whole slice, but it tastes like, like white school glue. If it tasted like cereal, this would be so good but it smells like glue as well. <laughs> I would be lying if I said I didn't like it. I did like it, <laughs> great consistency, weird flavor, but, but good. Uh, 
That tastes like Fruit Loops. It tastes like it's like fruity flavor, like banana, apple, like literally everything. It's really good. It's really really good. One of the weirdest taste tests I've ever done. Just like ever. Not even on the cake series. On any series on my channel. This tastes like fruity, but like expired fruity which is weird but also i like it this tastes exactly like glue and i still prefer this one so i think this is a good indication that the winner for this video is the five star cake i mean just that creation with the milk drop the splashes just like to me this is obviously my opinion a lot of you guys are probably going to disagree and let me know in the comment section, fair enough. Maybe we should do like a candy one with like Skittles or like something. Maybe that would be fun. If you want to see that, please don't forget to give this video a like. And also guys, if you enjoy my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. This is a series that I've been doing on my channel and I've got really, really good episodes coming up. So obviously, I mean, if you enjoy this and only if you enjoy this, I would love to make more episodes. And if you subscribe and switch my notifications on, you will be notified when I make another part to this series. But like I always say, if you didn't like this, if you didn't have a good time, obviously not expecting any of you guys to subscribe and just, just move along to better content. I love you guys, I hope you had a good time and I will see you guys on my next video, which is going to be in one or two days. Bye bye.